Hi there! Have you ever wondered how you can export and import things into Jira using CSV? Well, this is the video for you because we're going to go through how you can export things from a filter or if from an issue list in a product and also how you can import things from your Excel list for from a SV, CSV formatted uh, file. So let's jump right into Jira and start looking at what this looks like. So here we are now in Jira and I am currently in uh, one of the products. So if we go to issues here, which is the standard view for a product that doesn't have a board, you can find export issues up here and you can have import issues from CSV up here as well. And the more common way to do this is if you go to filters and you go down to advanced issue search. This is where people normally do it or where people are more used to doing it. And you will have the same functionalities then up here. So you will have export and you will have import. And I have prepared a filter for this, the CSV demo filter that I have here. So I basically selected everything in one of my products for this demo. And the only thing I need to do is uh, make sure that I use the filter uh, to get the exact data that I want to export. And if you want to know more how to set up the, uh, the filters, I have a video for that and you can find that in the link below. Uh, but once you have selected this, you will go to export and you will find a bunch of different uh, ways to export this. And the one we want to look for are these two. So export Excel CSV and you have two versions. You have all fields and all fields means that every field that is available here will be included in that one. And that's going to be a whole lot of data and we don't want to have all of that. The other one is it says filter fields. And if you look here at columns, you will see that I have three tabs here. And the reason I have the third one is because I'm site admin on this site. And this one, as you can see, it now changes all for all users. But you should have my defaults. Oh, sorry. You should have there my defaults and filter. And the reason why you have two is because my defaults is what you will have set up as standard when you do a filter search. And the filter, is, this one will show you what columns exist for this specific filter. So if I were to go to advanced issue search here, and now I just have a random, um, I just have everything basically in here. And if I go now to, sorry, here, you'll see I have only my defaults and system here. So you will only have my default. And this also will change if you are in the search mode and you don't have a filter. If you go to export, you will notice that it will say uh, my defaults here instead of filter list. And that is because it will select this configuration, my defaults, while when you are on the demo, it will instead collect the ones that are in filter. So if you accidentally get the wrong columns, then maybe you have changed on my defaults, but not on your filter and vice versa. But once I have selected everything that I want, I go to export and I will just click export Excel CSV filter fields. And I have already done this, so I'm not gonna do it again. And, oh, maybe I should, no. Yes, let's do it. Let's do it again. So you can see what it looks like. There you go. Now I have downloaded it. And what you get now is a CSV file. And if you haven't worked with them before, I can show you what it looks like in Excel. So just give me a minute to switch over to Excel. So this is what the file will look like when you get into Excel. And as you can see, it's all scrambled up. So if you haven't worked much with uh, Excel, you can just select the column. You can go to data and you can go to text to columns. You can select delimited. Uh, so we can use the comma that we have now. This is what the, the data looks like. So we use the comma 
we go to next and if you have it on tab you select comma and then you go next and then you can just leave it as it is and click on finish and then it will create the columns that you need for this extract so this is what the export will look like so let's jump back into Jira and let's try to import something as well so now that we are back in Jira let's do an import instead of an export and uh, like I said you can either do it from filters or you can do it from project view we're gonna do it from the filter view and it doesn't really matter from where you go and it will always end up in the same place so I'm just gonna prove that this is true so this is the page that you come from filters and if you go to projects and you go to issues and you go to import you will always end up on the exact same place so it doesn't really matter what uh, route you're taking so to start an import uh, we need to first select our CSV source file so I have prepared one here and if you have done this before for example if it's very uh, you do this a lot and you import and export files maybe from another system then at the end of your import you can actually save a configuration file uh, so you can keep that one that way you don't have to do the different steps later on to map the different fields to fields in Jira. So if you have one of those, you just click this one in and it will select, uh, you will go and find this one. And then you will have an, a faster import basically. But we are, don't have one of those, so we're going to click next. And the first thing we need to do then is to select a project that we will import this down to. And I'm going to use the import demo. And then file encoding, by default most people have UTF-8, which is the standard one. Uh, if you have selected something else for your Excel file or for your CSV file, uh, you can select a different version here. And the delimiter will be comma by default. For my file I've actually exported this using a semicolon instead, so I'm just going to switch to that one. And also if you have a different date format than the standard one, then you can alter this one here as well. So if you have any dates that you import, then they will follow the same format. Then we go to next. And now Jira will read uh, the different columns that you have. These are the ones that will be here. And as you can see, I re removed a lot, so you don't have to sit me, sit through and watch me map all of these. Um, but you will have the headers of your columns here and then you will select a Jira field on the right side and that you will then uh, take the data from that column in your CSV file and place into what Jira field. So you will have a bunch of um, fields that you can do. So you can either do what I do is scroll like this or you can just start typing and then it will sort them for you or filter them out for you. So I'm just going to very quickly go through this. There we go, and once you have mapped all of these, and the only one that is actually required is the summary, because you need to have a name for it. Everything else can pretty much be blank. You need to have an issue type as well, of course. Sorry, so issue type and summary are the two that you probably are the only ones that you need. And so then we click next. And now we're always almost done. And I always recommend that you do a validate first um, because even if you have done this a couple of times there's always that little error that you make that uh, can just mess up or you miss one or two items in the import. So I usually click validate first and I will run through the, uh, the file and make sure that everything works. In this case we only have 13 issues and we only had a handful of fields so it wasn't really uh, a problem, um, very unlikely that you will mess anything up uh, in, at this size. But if you have um, many fields, then you can have some errors here, especially if you have connections 
for example, you have subtasks that needs to be connected to the year issue or the year issue uh, or the story basically that should be connected to an epic and so on. Then uh, those connections can sometimes be a little bit messy. And sometimes you can all also have some problem matching names for reporter, for example. And uh, can also be a little bit messy. So uh, run through them first. And if there is something that you see that is wrong, and uh, then you will have red here instead of a green uh, success box. And then you can download the detailed log and go through every item that is not working properly. And so you can go through and fix those in your CSV file. And once you have this one checkbox, a green checkbox, everything is fine. Then you can just click begin import. And then you will have a little indicator show you how long and this will take. And now we have very few issues, so it's very fast. And once you're done, you can see the detailed log uh, of what happened. And this can be good if you had any errors uh, running through this one. And you can also save the configuration for future use. And of course, you can check on the created issues. So just to show you what the log looks like, and don't be terrified because it's not a very pretty log. Um, but this is what the log will actually look like. It's going to show you what happened, uh, that it started, and so on, and we'll show you everything. And if you have errors, you can find these in here as well. And if we go back now to the uh, screen where we actually saw the result of our import, we can now click on create uh, check created issues and will take us back then to uh, the advanced issue search and will show us what we have created. So this is what we saw. So you see that we have uh, a little query up here that tells us what uh, did we actually import. And also from here then we can see also uh, the assignees, reporters and all the fields that we have uh, had in our import. And I can also go to the project and I can verify then that I have all these issues now created here that wasn't here before. So that's very quickly uh, a very short video on how you can do imports and how you can do exports in Jira. And as you can tell, it's not a very difficult process and it's not something that you should be afraid of. It's very simple to use and very simple uh, setup for it. The only thing that can be a little bit complicated is the CSV format. Uh, but once you have done this a couple of times, you get the hang of it. And once you have the format uh, in an Excel, and then you will know how to use it in the future. So that's it for import and export in Jira. I hope you liked this video. And if you like this kind of content, then please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to produce a lot more of these videos in the future. So until then, I hope you will have a great day.